someone will be hired to kill you. Apple Nuts, you've been snatch balled. They will come for you. They will come for your name. They will come for your brand. They will come for your money and your livelihood. Don't mess with them. What's up, YouTube? What's good? I just smacked the wall. <laughs> Let's try that again. What's up, guys? What's good? Welcome back to my channel again. If you are a current subscriber, if you're brand new, I'm Brooke, and I'm super stoked that you're here. For today's video, I haven't done a Zodiac video in a while, and I know that everybody, well, most everybody loves those. I know I do. I get, like, a lot of views on them, and they're the most fun video to do, so... Why haven't I done more? I don't know. Am I self sabotaging? Am I self sabotaging? Maybe. Today I decided I was gonna do a video about how the signs handle betrayal, people talking badly about them, people talking shit, whatever. Before I launch into that, um, one, let me say, if you just want to jump right to your zodiac sign, I'm not gonna take offense. You can find all the timestamps in the description box below. And you can also find a link to my brand new Etsy shop, The Littlest Witch. I'm doing tarot readings over there, and they're not expensive, but I am charging for this part of my um, life service, whatever, just because I don't want to sell myself short and I put a lot of time into the readings that I do. If you are interested, please click down below to my shop. If you want to purchase it, if you don't, that's fine. Like, if you just want to favorite my shop or something, get me some exposure, share it with your friends. I would appreciate all of that. So, without further ado, let's get in to talking about zodiac signs and betrayal. Why don't we just like start with Sagittarius okay let's just start with Sagittarius when a Sagittarius is betrayed I feel from experience if they found out someone was talking shit they found out they got cheated on they found out that they got used or someone stole from them whatever the first thing their first instinct is to try and look like the bigger person look like they are all together it doesn't bother them they'll go and cry and you know in privacy by themselves because they've got a lot of pride and they are a sign that is all about images and um keeping up your image whether it's in person or online whatever they don't want anybody to know that they're hurting as badly as they are however i have seen some crazy sagittarius reactions with friends and an ex um after being betrayed or after feeling like they've been done wrong i used to date a sagittarius and when he felt like i had done him dirty he would say a lot of horrible stuff to me he was very verbal um there was a lot of threats that i can't remember to this day what they were about but i just remember threatening being a, a thing that was a thing i dealt with i have a sagittarius friend who was done dirty and she really told this man's what's up shipped his stuff back to him in a box that smelled like her because we decided we were gonna put perfume all over his shit so i think sagittarius is gonna act like they don't care they're gonna act like everything's well and good but they're gonna hit you where it hurts so watch out you're not gonna know till it hits you you're not gonna know till you've been snatch balled they will come for you they will come for your name they will come for your brand they will come for your money and your livelihood. Don't mess with them. Don't mess with them. If you can avoid them at all costs, I'm just kidding. We're not even gonna go there. Excuse me if I'm looking at my computer. I'm like, I mindlessly scroll sometimes during like chatty videos like this. The next sign we're gonna talk about is Aries. They are such an aggressive sign on the negative side. If you do an Aries wrong, Lord help you because they are the experts at burning bridges. They are not even gonna act up front like you didn't hurt their feelings. They find out that you did them wrong and they're dead ass just gonna be like, you and I, we're done. We're done, we're not friends. I don't work for you anymore. You don't work for me anymore. Don't come to my house. Do not come to my gay rat wedding ever again. You are not a part of my life and I'm not a part of yours and I'm not sorry. No skin off their back. They will not miss you. They will not cry. They might cry a little, like a little bit, but not that much. They're not gonna give that that much of a shit, you know? Aries have like a natural deep sense of justice. So they're gonna serve justice how they feel justice should be served. Whether that is hot, cold, with a dessert, with a drink, whatever, that is exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna make sure that you know you did them dirty and that you will pay for it. Bye, peace out, deuces. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out, boo, bye. Taurus is 
is next. When a Taurus is betrayed, I feel like they will hold on for a while. They might maybe try to give you another chance just because they're naturally stubborn. They want to hold on to the things and the people and places that mean the most to them. Once they decide that they're done, they're done. Taurus differs from the two signs we already talked about just for the simple reason that Taurus is more stubborn than Sagittarius and Aries. Taurus is naturally so stuck in their ways. Like if they have someone that they really trust and love, it's gonna take a massive betrayal to totally make them kick you out of their life. They might think of all the good times that, that they had with that person and just be like, but we used to shop together all the time. They gave the best cuddles. I don't, I can't go on without them. They're gonna think of all the really good times you guys have had and they're definitely gonna cry. I feel like a lot of Taurus people will say that they're not gonna cry, but they are gonna cry and they're gonna try and hold on, but there's probably gonna be like a slow departure where you guys just kind of drift away from each other. Peace out, deuces. You might get one chance, but that's all you're getting. Geminis. Geminis are, mm, okay. Geminis, when they are betrayed, um, they don't, it doesn't even matter. You know why? Because they already got a plan B. They already have some other job lined up, they already got another friend to hang out with, they already got another side chick, another side boy. They got something else. Gemini, you cannot surprise a Gemini because they are always prepared for anything to go any which direction. You betray them, just know like, <laughs> just be fully aware that you're not gonna be missed. You're not gonna be missed because someone's already taken your place. So you can go to bed at night and feel good about that fact about the fact that you didn't leave them totally high and dry because they had somebody else anyways. You betray a Gemini and boo, you've already been betrayed back before they even knew that you betrayed them. The next sign is Cancer, my sign. So I'm just gonna speak about me a little bit. When I feel betrayed, the first thing that I do is try to get all of the facts. Cancers like to have all the facts before we react, mainly because we can overreact if we don't have all of the facts. And even if we do have all the facts, we might still overreact because we're very emotional and kind of touchy sometimes. Someone does me dirty saying like, F it, I'm out, I'm done. It hurts, it hurts me a lot. I do cry about it a lot. Like it takes me a while to absorb the fact that everything is gonna be different now. And I probably don't have that friend anymore. We are torn about every tie that we have to cut but ultimately we're good at cutting ties. So anytime I've been betrayed, I have normally been the one to, you know, smarten up real quick. Like, you know what, if this is how it's gonna be, I can find other friends, I can find another relationship, I don't need this. I'm not quick like Gemini by any means, by any means, and I'm not crazy like an Aries but I'm really good at retreating into my shell and getting away from the person that hurt me. So that's what I'm gonna say about cancer. Um, how about Leo? Leo, Leo's right after cancer and it's Leo season. Happy Leo season to all my little lion babies. When a Leo is betrayed, I just feel like Leo's, they probably feel like they've been betrayed more than they've actually been betrayed just because of the fact that their standards don't always line up with everybody else's. Their image of who they are and what they require in a friendship, a relationship, whatever, is so drastically different probably from what the other person's view is that the smallest thing in Aaliyah's eyes could be considered off-putting or like a slight betrayal or like a little bit of talking shit. Leos throw hissy fits and then later on they'll go to their friends and just be like, was I out of line for that? Like, do you think that was a little bit crazy? Yeah, it was crazy. But like, honestly, it doesn't affect them that deeply because they are very confident creatures. They believe in themselves. They pride themselves a lot. I'm not trying to say a Leo is super prideful, whatever. Everyone's already heard that. But they are very proud of themselves and what they stand for. When they actually get betrayed, like someone cheats on them or something, I feel like Leos know their worth so much that they bounce back really quickly. And they're just like, you are missing out on all of this. You are not gonna get another whiff of this. You are exiled done do not pass go do not collect a hundred dollars because it's leo season bitch you're canceled so next we're gonna do virgo virgos when they are betrayed they can go one of two ways they are very very good at um cutting ties quickly like a cancer but if they put a ton of effort 
into a friendship, relationship, working, whatever, blah, 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 and they are betrayed. It can take a long time for them to confront the person or to come right out and, and say like, hey, you did this to me and I, I it hurt me. I don't understand why you did it. Can we talk about it? Like they'll give you a full chance at redemption. They want to give everybody a chance to make it right before they completely cut them out of their lives. But also, if a Virgo is betrayed so deeply that there's no going back, you bet your ass they're gonna go like ham on their work or ham on whatever project. They're just gonna wanna work the entire time just to like stop thinking about the fact that they have been done dirty, they've been lied to, can lose their sense of like self through attachments with other people. And because of that, it can be a little bit hard for them to put their foot down and just be like, you effed me over, like big hard, mad hard. <laughs> And I'm done. A Virgo is definitely the one sign that would try more than anyone else to make something work before finally it's just saying it quit. Like it, it's done, I'm finished, peace out. Betrayal is for the birds. It'll probably take them like a really long time to trust anybody else again or to be in another relationship or um, anything like that. So if you're messing around with a Virgo, don't do them so dirty that they can't even fathom finding someone else to fall in love with or be friends with. Don't be rude. Libra. Libras love balance and they see relationships as like a social, uh, what's that thing? The thing that you sign? Contract. They see relationships as like a social contract. So if you hurt them, um, they will feel so incredibly embarrassed. Libras will also spin the whole situation once their friends find out that they've been done dirty. Like, it's an opportunity for me to see the truth. Like, I grew from it. I'm a new person. Like, they'll try and get the positive side out of it. They always know where they stand with an argument. And once they find out where they stand, they don't budge. So if you do a Libra dirty, um, you're probably not going to come back from it they are gonna move forward with what you've done and they're gonna use it as a chance to grow. So good luck to you. You messed up, you lost someone great. It is your fault, you suck ass. Oh boy, Scorpio. If you betray Scorpio, you will die. Someone will be hired to kill you because I don't feel like a Scorpio has what it takes to actually kill you, but they have what it takes to find and pay someone to kill you. Scorpio's plot they talk a lot of shit. They're, they've got so much fiery passion in them. They can love hard, but they hate harder. Scorpios know how to dislike something more than they know how to like it. And that's probably gonna make somebody mad, but I'm sorry. It, their vision gets clouded by aggression and anger and they want revenge. Scorpio is the one sign that will want revenge on you. They're not like Sagittarius. Sagittarius just wants to show you like, I'm gonna laugh in your face, you did me wrong, whatever. Like people always think Sagittarius and Scorpio like act alike, they don't really. Hire a hitman to burn your house down. They will hire somebody to shoot you, hire someone to smother you in your sleep. You're going down, but they're gonna cover it up really well because they're sneaky. A Capricorn being betrayed is really simple. Um, they'll block you. Cheat on them, they'll block you. Lie to them, um, they'll give you the silent treatment. Steal from them, you're never, you, that y'all's friendship might not end because Capricorns are pretty non-confrontational, but they're never gonna trust you again. Once you gain their trust, once you are their friend or you're in a relationship with them, that is a bond like no other. And if you disappoint them or you hurt them, like you have something to be ashamed of. I have three Capricorns in my life, two of which have the exact same birthday. My boyfriend is one, one of my best friends from college is one, and my old roommate is one. And they are the most loyal, kind, well-spoken, sweet people. Loyal and amazing and so generous and just hardworking. And I feel like if you screw them over, you have done a horrible job at life. And if you, I mean, I, I hear so many people talking badly about Capricorns and saying like, Capricorns don't have feelings and Capricorn, blah, blah, blah. Capricorns in my life are always my voice of logic and someone who is extremely emotional all the time to screw over a Capricorn. It's like, it's like kicking a dog, dude. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's more of a Pisces thing. We'll get there. If you betray an Aquarius, you're probably gonna get off a little bit easy because 
they are very like soft-spoken individuals i feel i've never really met a wild aquarius but i've met a lot of really weird aquarius people they don't like violent confrontation they like a calm smooth conversation and like a a nice you know private atmosphere private room whatever like if you hurt them they're gonna be disappointed but i don't think it's something that's gonna result in like a big blow up I'll probably just be like you know what it's been good it's been fun but it ain't been like good fun so like peace deuces like i'm out it's not gonna be a big ordeal it's probably just gonna be like one of those things where you're embarrassed about it for the rest of your life because you hurt them in a really bad way and they kind of just we're like, that sucks. Too bad I'm not gonna stick around for you to do it again. Now for the very last sign. If you betray or hurt or deeply disappoint a Pisces, you have literally stomped a kitten. You have crushed a baby infant cat. You should be really embarrassed, ashamed, sad, hurt. You have made a great loss. You know what? You probably just sent that Pisces spiraling downward into a deep, pit of depression you should feel sorry for yourself because again pisces my also another one of my favorite signs they're amazing they're sweet and funny and kind and they totally understand cancer of course i love them i'm getting very heated it's like somebody i smacked my pisces friends in the face pisces loves so deeply and i feel like a lot of people um don't they don't get give Pisces the credit that, that they deserve for being such a like devoted and loving individual. Everyone kind of gives Cancer and Scorpio that like passionate um, trait. Of course, every sign has, you know, it's negative traits, like it's to be expected, but to hurt a Pisces, like I said, it's literally to like spit in their face. They will give you endless chances. They will give you Y'all will, if you heard of Pisces and y'all are in a relationship, y'all probably will be in that relationship until you decide to break up with them because they're probably gonna hold on for so damn long that it's sad and it's embarrassing for the both of you. And honestly, like, they struggle with deep relationships. I feel like a lot of the times when a Pisces is hurt, they tend to be with partners who think that they are playing the victim and it gaslights them and it makes them think that they are upset over nothing, which is, so, that's a whole other video. Whole other video. Comment down below if I should do a, the signs being gaslighted or the signs trying to gaslight you. In order for a Pisces to get over being betrayed, that person has to disappear. That Pisces has to move away from that person the Pisces has to delete their number. The Pisces got to delete them off Facebook. The Pisces has to act as if that person never existed. Um, otherwise, they're just probably going to keep going back to them, going to make excuses for themselves as to why it's okay for them to go back to them or be friends with them again. And that's all I'm going to say about them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as that really does help me out and subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys like the new intro. I just had someone on Instagram make my new intro, so I hope that you guys liked it, by the way. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop link down below and I hope to see you guys in the next video.